Hi there, and welcome to our channel. If you want to pick a fight and you're looking for the most effective martial art to use in a real fight, well, take a seat. The list is quite long. Depending on who you ask, the most effective martial art is usually different from one person to another, and each of these martial arts brings something unique to the table. So answering the question of which martial art is the most effective in a real fight is definitely not a walk in the park. However, that is what we are going to do today. To make it simpler, we'll take a look at some of the top martial arts that are perfect for a real fight, and in the end, we will give a verdict on which is the most effective. Before we go ahead, kindly hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. Muay Thai Muay Thai, or Thai boxing, is also known as the art of eight limbs because it allows fighters to strike with fists, elbows, knees, and shins. The main weapon used by Thai boxers is the vicious kicks they use to strike from a distance. Every single Muay Thai training can be applied in street fighting. Muay Thai training improves your cardio levels and muscle strength. This martial art teaches you to use elbows and knees in the clinch, as well as sweeps to throw your opponent off balance. A clinch is a form of stand-up grappling. This technique is a complete stand-up martial art that teaches you how to use every limb to cause damage. And even though this is arguable, Muay Thai is one of the most effective martial arts that does the most damage. The Muay Thai techniques are commonly used in the UFC, and you know how bloody they can get. A famous screen adaptation of the art is in the movie Kickboxer, played by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Thai boxing deserves a place on our list of martial arts for its self-defense. It is a go-to for MMA fighters, and it is very effective in a street fight. However, one weakness of Muay Thai is the lack of ground fighting, which leaves room for grappling on the ground. Either way, Thai boxing is an effective martial art. Wing Chun Wing Chun is a close combat system that gained more popularity due to the success of the Ip Man movies played by Donnie Yen. This effective martial art comes from China, and it has a rich traditional history. It is said to have originated from a Buddhist nun, Nit Mui. She created a form of self-defense that could transcend size, weight, and gender. It was said that she drew her inspiration for Wing Chun from the movement of animals. And when applied to the human form, these natural movements require little force to block. And it can strike effectively and efficiently. The power of Wing Chun lies in its direct approach. It puts you on a level field if your attacker or opponent is bigger than you. But to do that, you need to achieve the right hitting and kicking moves. Wing Chun also allows you to read your opponent's body language so that you can know his or her next move and the weak points. Wing Chun techniques allow you to land effective blows to expend little energy in the process. It gives great coordination because your limbs are independent of each other. Also, Wing Chun trains you to instinctively choose the correct response to a threat so that you can defend yourself without having to think about every move. Krav Maga This style originates from Israel, where it was taught in the army. Krav Maga comes from the Hebrew phrase which means contact combat. And just like the name suggests, it involves hands-on close-up combat. In Krav Maga, fighters are on a collision course and there is the liberty to attack each other in the face or between the legs. Krav Maga borrows heavily from other martial arts such as boxing, wrestling, karate, and jiu-jitsu. This style allows for natural reflexes and reactions, anything you can do to save yourself. It trains you to defend yourself even if your attacker has a weapon. Krav Maga trains you for a real fighting scenario. As such, it is not even a sport, so it is not included in any contest. However, it will teach you many useful streeting fight techniques that you won't find in other martial arts. Krav Maga teaches you to strike, fight against weapons, and multiple attackers. Mixed Martial Arts In MMA, almost nothing is off-limits. 
Because it is a mixed martial art, it draws from several different methods such as kickboxing, Muay Thai, boxing, wrestling, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. For MMA, the list of rules is short, and that is why some pro-level fighters consider it as the toughest of all martial arts. MMA teaches you to fight either standing up, ground fighting, or clinch fighting. It also consists of various grappling and striking techniques, all mixed into one. MMA is the perfect choice in a real fight. However, it has one weakness. MMA training won't prepare you for some dirty techniques like eye gouging or how to defend against multiple assailants. Still, the mix of various martial arts prepares you for any kind of confrontation, and it has been battle proven in MMA matches as well as real life fights. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a grappling based martial art, and it is extremely useful for street fighting. And even though it focuses on ground fighting, it matches well against most striking and kicking arts. It is perfect for street fighting because on average, many people don't know how to fight on the ground. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was drawn from Judo, as such it teaches you various throws and wrestling moves. With Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you can easily pin your opponent down and secure a dominant position. This would allow you to use various chokes or joint locks to neutralize your opponent. The goal is to put your opponent in a submission hold that either knocks them out or makes them tap out. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is very effective against taller or heavier opponents and it works perfectly in real life. It is a great advantage in a real fight. However, this martial art doesn't do well against multiple attackers. It doesn't teach how to defend against a weapon and it doesn't teach how to defend against kicks and punches. Several other martial arts are effective in real fights such as Jeet Kune Do, Kisi, Karate, Taekwondo, Kung Fu, and so many others. But we've looked at these five because they are very effective in a real fight. So, which of these martial arts is most effective in a real fight? Here's our verdict. Muay Thai gets 8.5 points because it allows for use of all limbs and can cause the most damage. Wing Chun gets 8 points as well because it is a unique style that allows you to strike effectively and efficiently using less energy. Krav Maga gets 9 points because it combines other martial arts and is a great contact combat method that is perfect for real fights. MMA gets 9.5 points because it prepares you for almost all kinds of real fights. It uses different martial arts methods and it barely has any rules. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gets 7 points because it is a ground grappling method that doesn't give room for kicks, strikes, or punches. So our winner is MMA. Do you agree with our verdict? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. You can also smash the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.